Bristol City stood up to Marjorie Taylor Greene to get today to let her know, get the hell out of here. Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene was run out of New York City, getting her speech cut short because uh, New Yorkers chased her out. So I'm going to get some clips. Uh, this is some fun stuff happening around what is otherwise just basic procedure. Trump's arraignment today, pleading, of course, not guilty in front of a judge and all the hoopla outside. There's a pro-Trump rally. There's an anti-Trump rally. And I'm going to show you some clips, including Jamal Bowman, Congressman Jamal Bowman, who also was there shouting down Marjorie Taylor Greene. And I'm also going to show you this. Her amazing defense of Trump. I, If you haven't seen this, I don't think you're going to be expecting what you're going to see. <laughs> it's an awkward way of saying what she said is crazy. So let me uh, first start with this. Just some basic facts around what is happening today. So, of course, uh, while the indictment remains sealed... As of recording this still, Newsweek is reporting Trump will face 34 felony counts for falsifying business records. So really good to see uh, 34 felonies there. Trump is the first former U.S. president to ever be criminally charged. His arraignment hearing is scheduled for 215. Already happened. Trump supporters, including far right Georgia Congress member Marjorie Taylor Greene, is expected there. And as I'll show you, she was a little more on why we're not going to see too much out of this. So... He will be taken into custody, as he just was, but it won't play out like it does on TV shows with suspects being dragged out of their homes in handcuffs. Instead, Trump and his attorneys have arranged his surrender with prosecutors. That means Trump will turn himself in, enabling the arrest and subsequent processing procedures to happen behind closed doors. Also means we're apparently not going to see a mugshot, unfortunately. But that may be a, actually a benefit to society, because we all know that mugshot would just turn into... You know, selling T-shirts and other garbage. <laughs> so maybe it's better that we don't get one. But there's going to be, hopefully, some future indictments that maybe in those cases it'll be different. I don't know. But this is how things stand. We're not going to see too much out of this, except him getting out of his car. Or I should say him getting out of a truck where he was driven from the airport. And so, other uh, law enforcement. There he is, waving. Cable news, 24-7 coverage, just to see Trump wave to the camera as he walks inside. There's a closer look at the wave. <laughs> There's nothing else to add here. It's just, this is Again, this is all this is just procedure. There's no real news happening, which is why I had to bring in this amazingness to the conversation. This is, I think, this was taken, I believe, before or after Taylor Greene has run out because she's in the truck that leaves. But uh, this is the um, most amazing defense I've seen of Trump. Amazing meaning completely insane. But here it is. This is how Taylor Greene is now defending Trump. President Trump is joining some of the most incredible people in history being arrested today. Um, Nelson Mandela was arrested, served time in prison. Jesus, Jesus was arrested and murdered by the Roman government. There have been many people throughout history that have been arrested and persecuted by radical, corrupt governments. And it's beginning today in New York City. Um, and I just can't believe it's happening, but I'll always support him. He's done nothing wrong. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Otherwise known as Jesus Christ. Or Nelson Mandela. Like, what is this argument? This is like... This is like saying, oh... I I have a pair of sandals. I wore my sandals today. I'm just like Jesus Christ. He wore sandals too. <laughs> like the, Trump has broken the law so many goddamn times. There is, so I think uh, Mehdi Hassan of MSNBC talked about this. The first time that Trump, that his name was ever like in the papers was when uh, him and his father had to settle out of court over them discriminating against black people renting apartments in their complex. Trump has been lawless his entire life. 50 years of this. And finally, something, some repercussions, kind of, maybe. Let's hope there's more to come because we, look, there is, there are endless laws that Trump has broken uh, even before he became president, but as president as well. And let's hope uh, we will see more, especially when it comes to Georgia and the obvious attempt there to try and impact that uh, the uh, the votes there, as well as of course stealing the classified documents. Anyways, a lot of stuff that hopefully we'll see, hear more about. But 
this is this happened just before Taylor Green was in that truck. Here, uh, you're going to see her push through the crowd <laughs> as she is chased out of New York, getting her speech cut short. And I'll give you some more info around that as well. All right, so I'm also going to show you, uh, that was just before I believe she got into this truck here. So there's more. Check this out. The crime should be held accountable. Congresswoman. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. Nick, you know. Now let's talk about the truth. Now let's talk about the truth. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Now let's talk about the truth. Get out of here. Congressman, I'm fired that today. Jamal Bowman. All right, I'm going to get some more from Jamal Bowman in a second here. I'll finish this clip, but I do want to give you more context for what the hell just happened. So around 10.30 a.m., Green entered the park wearing the Terminator cop glasses she's partial to, <laughs> surrounded by the protest organizers of a zillion more reporters. She pushed through the crowd toward a small riser. The people packed in. Green was handed a megaphone and yelled to her supporters about how Democrats are the party of violence. And New York used to be a great city. But two anti-Trump protesters, both white guys over 40, had come over from their side of the park and began screaming. No one could hear Green, even from a few feet away. Go home! New York City hates your guts, yelled a man in a blue checkered shirt. He might not have been the perfect liberal messenger, though. Uh, you look like a, I'm not going to say that, but not very great language. But the hollering drowned Green out until the cavalry arrived. A man who brought his own megaphone, uh, quote, let's F Brandon. We're all going to F him, he yelled, in the spirit of raising hell. Green left the riser as police escorted her from the park. She had a plane to catch and plans to attend Trump's post-arraignment speech on Tuesday evening at Mar-a-Lago on far friendlier ground. Just a total mess. <laughs> so I don't even know. There's not nothing else to really add here. Uh, just a complete mess. And we're going to see even more of a mess tonight with this speech. I don't think I'll be able to stomach it. I'm, I'll check the highlights tonight or tomorrow, but whatever. This is the best part of the entire thing. Is uh, Bowman here going hard on Marjorie Taylor Greene and uh, telling people what New York is really about. What inspired that today? Jamal Bowman. What inspired that today, Congressman? I was born and raised in New York City. This is the city that I love. It's a city focused on hard work and love for all people. We will never accept hateful rhetoric in our city. Any rhetoric that is divisive, any rhetoric that uplifts white supremacy, we are pushing back against that in all its forms. Marjorie Taylor Greene needs to take her ass back to Washington and do something about balance, do something about affordable housing, do something about childhood poverty, do something about climate change. Do your freaking job, Marjorie Taylor Greene. You don't need to be in New York City talking that nonsense. Go back to your district. You're not, what are you doing here? You're here for politics. You're here because you want to be VP. You're here for your own fundraising. You're here for your own nonsense. New York City stood up to Marjorie Taylor Greene to get today to let her know, get the hell out of here. There you go. Jamal Bowman really hates Marjorie Taylor Greene for good reason. Telling her to uh, go back home and do something for her own district. Good to see that pushback on whatever Trump support was actually there. It doesn't appear like a whole lot of Trump supporters are really there. Uh, at least, you know, considering the situation where their former president is uh, finally uh, charged with the crimes that it really appears he did based on all the evidence, not to mention many more, again, that are hopefully to come. But regardless, all this is really just spectacle right now. Pure spectacle. There's nothing happening. There's no uh, movement in Trump's case. This is just procedure at the moment. You're going to get more spectacle tonight if you really care to uh, watch Trump's speech. I would say don't. Don't bother. It's not worth it, but whatever. There's going to be a lot more of this because, look, this is historical. A former president getting charged. Big deal. At the same time, if any criminal is going to get charged, it should be Trump. And yes, I said criminal, not president, because Trump is a criminal. 
the real the real news here is that you had a criminal get away with crimes for 50 years and finally face some potential repercussions.